Welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I will teach you how to make a circle skirt that can be altered to make a wide variety of skirt types. It is an ideal base for any skirt pattern that requires a smooth waistline and a full hemline. Check out my Patreon in the description below for a written guide for this tutorial and options for private tutoring in Clo 3D. Let's get started. The first thing we need to do is collect the measurements we need to draft our skirt. So I'm going to go in the 3D toolbar to the basic circumference measure avatar. And then um, I'm just going to click around the avatar where I want the waistband of the skirt to be. So if I want it to be on the natural waist, I'm going ahead to click once uh, there. And then I'm going to hold shift so I make sure that this measurement goes perpendicular around the body. Click again. And then while still holding shift, click a third time. And that is my waistband measurement. So 24 inches. And then I want to get another measurement for the length that we want the skirt to be. So I'm going to click and hold that same icon and then go to linear measure avatar. And I'm going to start on the waist, just clicking there. And then I'm going to go to about how long I want the skirt to be. I'm also holding shift to make sure that my line is parallel or perpendicular to the floor and about that long. So that's about 26 inches. Okay, so the only math we need to do then is to add uh, one inch to this waist measurement for ease. So that will be 25 and then um, 26. And those measurements are in the description. All right, so now we have our measurements. We can go ahead and draft the waistband to the skirt. Let's go to the S hotkey to get the rectangle tool. And then you can click anywhere in the 2D window. The width is going to be that waist circumference measurement plus one. So for me, that's 25 inches. And the height for everyone will be one. We'll just make a one inch tall waistband. Once those are plugged in, you can go ahead and press OK. Now let's go ahead and get this waistband situated on the avatar. Uh, first, we want to go to the N hotkey so that to pull up the segment sewing tool. And we'll just click on this side of the waistband and then this side of the waistband to sew them together. And then in the 3D window, making sure the select move tool is activated or the Q hotkey, go ahead and uh, press shift F to make the arrangement points appear, then click on that waistband, then hover over where you want that waistband to wrap around on the avatar, click that button, and then it will automatically situate itself. As soon as you uh, press the space key for simulate, it will um, jump into place. So you just want to go ahead and manually move this around while it's still simulated. And once it's in a good position that you like, right click that piece, that waistband, and then choose freeze. All right, let's move on to the circle part of the skirt now. So we're gonna go to the ellipse tool or the, the E hotkey, and that's right over here in the 2D toolbar, ellipse. And again, we're just going to click anywhere in the 2D window, and uh, we're gonna create an ellipse that is the circumference of our waist plus that one inch. So I'm not choosing diameter, I'm not choosing radius, I'm choosing circumference, and that number was 25, and that's all we need to input, and then click OK. Now we're going to go to the edit pattern tool or the Z hotkey, which is right here in the 2D toolbar. And I'm just going to select all of these lines by clicking and dragging around the circle, right click the selection, and then choose offset pattern outline. And this dialog box will open. And here is where we're going to input the length we want the skirt to be. So for me, that was 26 inches. Number of offsets, just keep that at one. Direction is extend. We do want to make sure we're checking this box that says create internal line. And then anything down here, it doesn't matter what it is. It'll be the same outcome. So we're going to go ahead and click OK. Now we have this giant circle and we need to cut out the middle of the circle. So I'm going to go to the transform pattern tool or the A hotkey, and then I'm going to right click the inner circle and then choose convert to whole. 
Before we go much further, I want to make sure we are sewing the skirt to the waistband. It'll make it a little bit easier to do now than later on. So go to the free sewing tool. That's the M hot key up here in the 2D toolbar. And this is very important. The direction that we are going to wrap around this circle is actually going to determine whether or not our skirt is inside out or not. So I'm going to click on this point up here. This is the topmost point in the inner circle. That'll be our center back point. And then I'm going to drag my cursor counterclockwise around the circle. And the direction that you first move your cursor is going to determine how this, uh, what direction this goes. And this is actually very important. So if I click here and then I start moving this way, that'll be clockwise. And it will actually won't let me then go counterclockwise. So that first movement of the mouse actually does matter. So again, I'm gonna click this point and then start moving counterclockwise around the circle. Click the same point again. And then that is telling it that I'm going to sew that whole circle to something else. And that something else is going to be the waistband. And again, the side that you click first on the waistband is important. So I'm going to click the left side of the waistband and then dr immediately drag my cursor to going towards the right. And that's important as well because we don't want it to go, you know, all the way around the top of the waistband. We want to make sure it's going this way on the waistband and then click the rightmost point on the waistband. And so you should have a dash point over here on the waistband and over here on the skirt. Okay, so if we were to leave the pattern as it is and you had a big enough piece of fabric, you could cut this whole circle out, but it's much more economic to split this skirt into two pieces, a front and a back. So we're gonna go ahead and go to the internal polygon slash line tool, which is the G hotkey. And we're going to just click on this left side of the outer circle, that point right there. And then we're going to double click on the right side, um, making a line that bisects all the way through. And then what we can do is go to the transform pattern tool or the A hotkey. We can right click that line and then choose cut and sew. And now we have two pieces. This will be the front and this is the back. So the last step we need to do is just make sure that this uh, skirt is in a good position so that when we simulate, it won't have a lot of collisions. So let's go ahead and choose. I'm going to shift click both of these skirt pieces, right click, and then superimpose side. And then I'm going to move these away from her body a little bit to make sure it's not colliding. Let's look there. Let's try that. Okay, let's see what happens when I simulate. All right, not bad. And that is your completed circle skirt. Subscribe to my channel for upcoming variations on how to transform this into other skirt types.